when Jordan decided to do the reality show, and he told us, I won't be able to talk to you for weeks. They're taking my phone. I don't know if I'll be home in one week. I don't know if I'll be home in two weeks. But we drop him off at the airport, and he turns around, and his Jordan way and goes, maybe I'll find true love, mama. <laughs> Jordan, where do I begin? Today, you become my husband. As I write this to you today, I am overwhelmed with joy and peace, knowing with certainty that it was you I had been praying for all along. I've been searching my whole life for you. Never If I could go back and talk to that 27-year-old falling in love on national television, I'd tell him it's gonna be better than you ever imagined. I love you so much. I love you more now than I ever could have imagined on that day six years ago. And I promise to love you a little bit more every day that follows. It's good to see you. <laughs> it's good to see you, we did it for you. that is filled more joy and more hope and more expectancy than this sacred moment. I remember that night in L.A. when you were announced as the next Bachelorette. Little did I know, sweetheart, that a true love story was going to unfold. at all, Jordan and I, at the visits at our house. What was that week called? Hometown. Hometown. <laughs> Didn't get to talk at all. And I was expecting to like get to talk to Jordan, like, hey, what's really going on and everything, you know? <laughs> but we don't get any private time. And one time he leans over in a hug and he says, Mama, she has the kindest heart. I love her. And I remember thinking, well, that's what I prayed all these years, somebody that would love Jordan's kind heart. And you both chose so well.